Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 7 and 8 of My Happy Marriage. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 7 in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Should be able to eat in like an hour. But that's the kindness of Mio's heart. Right, I'm just glad Mio's okay. Rebuild the house. Oh? That would be, that's gonna be her final goodbye. Cause when she leaves, that's it. She, she gonna be like, I'm never coming back to this place. There's too many bad memories here for me. But she still has good ones with her mom and she will definitely keep those to heart. Mm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's karma for her. Right? You have nowhere else to go. You need to start over. Mm -hmm. 
still crawl. Mm -hmm. Her power is going to work right here. It's almost like you freed your mom. You were only doing it to protect her. Besides, the tree was already cut down. <laughs> it's so cute. I can't, huh? Okay. And my thing is, is she, is Mio gonna ask Koji about Kaido? I mean, she doesn't really have to, but because of the kindness of her heart. I just can't believe I called Koji Kaido for a moment. <laughs> Don't think about that. <laughs> well, thank you. You also saved her. I just wish we could get you out of your marriage with her sister. Because god dang, I don't want you to marry her. Go out, find a nice girl. Such how I would marry you if, it, you know, if Mia was not marrying her, man, shit. Hope so I do feel bad for her because she she had all this riches but she was selfish and now she has to deal with that karma as working but this is a brand new start for her she can be a kinder better person but who knows she has to take that first initiative
That is heartbroken once again. Ah, <laughs> uh, figures. <laughs> It might be fine. He's so cute. Look at him. Like, oh my god. <sighs> Bye, they look so cute together. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be so fun!
Really pretty. I love the blue. Right? We have to eventually put it to use. Mm hmm I think you will. She's really sweet. Oh, Neil. Oh. Mm.
course, that's not good. What the heck? Mm-mm. Uh-uh. What is that? Mm-mm. Okay. Yeah. And of course, we all know that's not good. Right. Okay. Th them things, them things gonna come get me out. I don't want that. I'm scared for her. I, I mean, okay. Now, the initiative that he, he, what he could do for me, oh, is take her somewhere safe where no one can find her. But still, those creatures could possibly still find her regardless. All the, the chanting and everything that was going on, that happened while Mio was asleep. So they can do a spell that can trace where she is. I mean, come on now. Come on. Now, once again, on Kaya and Koji's situation, I, I do feel bad for both, but in two different ways. One for Kaya, losing the home that you and your sister both grew up to have it perish and burn. And there's nothing left from that. And that she has to start fresh. And she got to get a job. You know, I mean, seriously. But that's karma on her. For everything that she did to her sister. Because, once again, God don't like ugly. God does not like ugly. And that's how she's being treated. She now has to start somewhere new. And she has to get a job. And that's the only way. But at the same time, it is a good starting point for her. Because she can take everything that she's like learned up until this new step and be a new person but something secretly kind of tells me when we do eventually get season two of this show and the next time she possibly ends up meeting her sister she's still gonna be a bitch we all know that but koji i, I do also feel bad for him because he he really wanted that last little bit of hope that last little try to win her back but because she's with the, she's with the kudo that's it and i get it because i did the same thing i would i would i would because she's she's happy with him she's more free with him and they belong together regardless like i, I can't imagine if someone came in even we're because ha it's happening again, uh, just stepping on the freaking turf and trying to drive a wedge between these two. Hazuki is also adorable too. I love her. She she's gonna be like the best second girl of this series because initially number one it, it's Mio, and I honestly cannot wait to see how one the dynamic between these two are gonna go because already these two love each other and Hazuki already loves the crap out of Mio, but I am so ready to see her, you know, do all these lessons to becoming, you know, a woman and, you know, a lady and stuff. And I think it's going to be cute, prim and proper and everything. Like, oh my god, I think that's a freaking sweet. It does give me feel so all the other, like, really <laughs> years before when none of us was born. And, you know, when you're watching movies, like, I, I think the Marie and Anto uh, I can never say Marie Antoinette's name, right? There you go. Um, that movie with Kristen Dunst, I think, 
giving me feels to that and like any movie where it, it's a woman who goes through at the beginning like her quote-unquote ugly duckling stage and becomes this beautiful butterfly by the end of the series or movie or whatever and, and that's what it is for Mio. Mio has had so many heartbreak moments so many ugly duckling moments that this man has realized her true beauty and what she and who she is as a woman and he's in love with that and and i'm just like once again i i ain't gonna cry we ain't gonna cry again but once again you just you pray like that you get the same thing that you see in movies and tv shows and books and you know you'd be like damn uh, like all that you i'm be like god the only type of man like that is in my fucking dreams and fiction and everything else but no there really are truly men out here that are so freaking similar to anime characters and book characters and movie characters and tv show characters and you're like damn i want that like so freaking bad like me like it's worse when I go on TikTok because of this couple that I follow because they're just so freaking in love and they're so effing cute and I cannot with them and, and then like the things that he just does for her oh my god I get freaking butterflies every time every single time and I'm just like bruh I need that like I treat me like a damn princess like oh my god but go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode eight all right episode eight in three two one go mm -mm. Right, I mean, at least, damn, have a uniform. But it's okay. You are really pretty. Like, god dang. I mean, I know, that's a man, but damn he pretty. Because for a moment, I was like, that's a woman. And I'm like, no, that's a man. He pretty. Oh. Uh, <laughs>
right? Well, I'm going to prevent that. You kind of look like Sophie. Aww. Uh oh. She looks so beautiful. She's like literally come a long way. But she's definitely gonna need practice on a walk. But it's okay. There you go. It has to be.
paint. <laughs> <laughs> you just want her to call you on the <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, I, I think there's going to be a time when she's just going to have to call him by his first name as well. No. <laughs> For now. I get it. it, especially coming out of her mouth and saying that, of course, scares her. Mm-hmm. Yes, you'll be okay. Mm hmm You always let her know. Yeah, but something else that tells me there might be a while that Kyoka is not gonna be coming home and that hurts. That's one man you want to watch out for.
Sense. I'm not going to enjoy him working alongside him. Because we know his true intentions. It's me. That ain't good. Oh. Mm -mm, my damn zombies. Be careful.
Mm -hmm. You want to go sit down somewhere and just get some tea? Mm -hmm. Oh, you okay? Uh oh. Oh my <laughs> why 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 my heart I was <laughs> I thought it was. <laughs> oh, y'all played me. Y'all played me. Oh my god. Like, no, in her mind. In her mind. It's like, yeah, that's my man coming to save me. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I really don't want him anywhere near me because we know all he wants is her. Ah, uh, he's so evil. I don't like him. Like, he gets the ch Oh, God. He gives me, like, the major, like, major, major ick. Major chills. I cannot, like, mm -mm, get away from me. Mm -mm, mm, no, 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 no. Get away from her. Oh, my God. I'm scared for her. And I only got two more weeks of this show left. We are, I'm almost done with this. I'm gonna be done in like two weeks. And I don't want anything happening to her. And I'm just hoping that she gets a really good ending. I do also love the fact that her and Asuki, came, like, <laughs> they did stuff together, like continuing from the previous episode, which was really sweet. Oh my God. But just like, oh, this is too much. He's trying his hardest to save his fiance and to stop making her cry and have these nightmares, but still, she's still having nightmares and stuff. Like, oh my god. Once again, that's on my own. Man, the, he, he is doing. Kyoka is doing everything for her to make her happy, to make her have a better freaking life. Oh my god. Once again, we all said it. I'm like, God damn, wish that was me. <laughs> Being in her situation. <laughs> That's like, okay. That's like the one show that I normally, because today is Thursday. Um, The one show that I normally watch on Thursday, The Girl and Her Girl Dog. Like, okay, yes. Anytime when I watch this show, I literally take the, the main girl out and put me in. Because I'm like, because the, the age, of course, we've talked about that. But because of how old he is, and I'm like, he, he's so fine. Plus, who his seiyuu is and stuff. His seiyuu and, the, and his se and Kyoka's seiyuu in this series. Love them both. Anything that they're in, and especially if they play a really good, attractive guy. Weak in the knees. Deja's gone. Like, oh my god. But seriously, this was so good. I'm just really, like, scared for these last couple of episodes I do have left. Because we are almost done with this, I think. Yeah. Because I'll be on 9 and 10 next week and 11, I think it's 12 episodes for this show. Um, I think I can, I think I can look that up real quick. Uh, hold on. Uh, 
literally all the way at the freaking bottom. Did I just pass it? Right there. There are, yeah, there's 12. So, yeah, two weeks to me is still not enough. So, hopefully, you know, however this ends for them, of course, it's going to end in a happy ending with these two. Maybe, like, what I would like to see, like, and they don't have to do this now, but I would love for them to have a kid by the end of this or potentially, like, we end the show with her being pregnant and then we get the baby, like, halfway through season two. Maybe, but like pacing, it's up to them. I don't know what the heck is about to go ha go go down in these last four episodes that I do have left. But of course, I have to wait and see. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to be towards episode seven and eight of My Happy Marriage. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episodes nine and ten. But until then, I will see you guys officially all next time. Bye.